Dajaha, which is Shangguan Jiawen, your friendly neighborhood Waigua Ren. Uh, look around. This is an absolutely splendid spring day. The AQI must be 10. It is beautiful. There are little puffs of clouds. It is maybe 15 to 20 degrees with a slight breeze. It is absolutely resplendent. We are here in uh, Guijie, Beijing, which is a night street. You can see all of these different restaurants. They have Sichuan, Sai, uh, there is a tea house. There's all kinds, there's chuar here. We're going to find one of these restaurants and experience what it's like here to be in Dongsi, Beidajie, North for ourselves. Come with me. As you can see here, this restaurant is extremely busy. And there are tons of people, dozens of people outside waiting for a seat. Well, we can tell the, the food in these restaurants here must be very, really, really good. So, obviously, this is uh, the soup that comes in Sichuan food. But I go to a lot of places, Heidi Lao, uh, Shabu Shabu. This place is here in this part of Dongsi. We got spinach, there's some beef here, it's really spicy beef, and this is the spicy side, so I'm probably gonna burn my mouth. And then we got some of these as well, and some bottled waters to help cool our mouths as we eat. A really interesting thing about this particular Sichuan restaurant is this place comes with kwaiza that are not finished, they have a hole in the end. And instead, they give you these tiny little sticks, <laughs> and you insert them into your kwaiza so that you're not as wasting as much wood, which is really interesting. And you, they're also just for you. You're the only person to ever use them. I feel kind of guilty wasting them. But it's really unique to this restaurant. Uh, and he, I put a lot of garlic in my, uh, what I would call dip in English. This is not about China as much as it is about Japan. I read an article recently. There was a man recently arrested by the police for dating 35 different women over a very short period of time. And he's a very handsome looking man from the pictures I can see. And he had 35 different girlfriends that he met online in various places. And he told them all different days for his birthday. So yeah, my birthday is Wednesday to this one. My birthday is Thursday to this one. My birthday is Friday to this one. And he would stop dating them so he could get presents from all of these girls. I think it's really funny. Also, I think it's really interesting because I'm not sure in America you could get arrested for lying about not being single and lying about you know when your birthday is so you could get free presents. So I'm wondering what kind of strange law they have. And also I'm wondering from you, the fans, if this happened in China, if there was a man who dated 35 women so he could get presents from them and lie about his birthday, would he go to jail? Really? I'm curious. Is that something that would happen? What about a female who did the same thing? A woman who said she had different birthdays and dated 35 different men in China. Would he go to jail? Would he be arrested? Would the police do something about it? Or just they would everyone think that this person is a jerk? So please leave comments below and subscribe and let me know and we'll have a conversation about it. About if this happened in China, what would the reaction be? We're here at Guijie, Beijing, and we tried some of the Sichuan food here. It was delicious, a little bit too spicy for my Western taste. And uh, we're recommending that you only date one person at a time. See you next time. Bye-bye.